What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Like a Dragon Ishin. Last time, we have gone through the Gion sub-stories, as well as spent some time with Haruka, and met a very interesting woman, to say the least. This time, we are of course continuing the sub-stories. Now, I couldn't really get the, uh, the sub-story back at the villa to trigger. So my guess is, is that I have to cook 10 meals separately, like they cannot be repeated despite what the guide says, that would be my first guess. So, we're going to be doing the other sub-stories. So why am I in Gion? Well, if you recall, we have this guy still, and we do have some home-cooked meals. <laughs> ah, it's you. Oh, uh, sorry if I also sound a bit stuffy. Allergies are kicking my ass today. This scent. You brought me what you promised. Does my food really smell that strongly? No, I'm merely a genius. Now please, may I taste it? Here, have some. I hand over. Let's give him... The Katameshi. I don't know if there's anything you could learn from this, but here, enjoy. He handed over our home cooked meal. Bon appetit! Um, nom 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 nom. Brilliant! What is this? I feel a swell of strength from deep within me. The flavors you've assembled reject orthodoxy and somehow joined together, united by common purpose. It's a cooking revolution! That's the only way to describe it. It defies conventional logic. I'm not sure if that's a good thing considering that it's food. Honestly, I'm puzzled myself. I need to taste more to understand. You must bring me another dish. What? Another one? Yes, your food captivated me. For a moment, I felt I was on the cusp of something truly groundbreaking. Well, it might take some time, but if I make anything else, I'll try to bring you some. That's all I ask. I figured this was a bond. I'll be awaiting your return. Okay, so now I have two. Uh, so now I have two bonds related to cooking in. Uh, in. in Kyo. And then there's her. Might as well get her out of the way. Hello again, playboy. Thank you for last time. <laughs> that cucumber of yours was exquisite. Once I started, I just couldn't stop. I see. That's good. But you know, there's another something I've been wanting. And I'm afraid I have no choice but to give in to my desire. Any clue what that might be? Sorry, no clue. My, so naughty. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing I want this time is a nice long carrot. Okay. I've got to have a carrot. Nothing else would do. I want so much. I'm practically screaming for it. She's really got a thing for vegetables, huh? And they keep getting bigger each time. So I've got another favor to ask you. Could you maybe bring me a carrot? I don't imagine you plan on going to the store anytime soon. Please don't say such naughty things. There's a reward in it for you, so you'll help, right? Please? I think I do have some carrots. How much are you willing to bet the next thing she's going to ask for is an eggplant by the end of this? Impressive length. Decent girth. My. This is exactly the type of carrot I've been longing for. <laughs> you know how to please a lady. Here's your reward. Passion pill. Oh, where are my manners? Forgive me, but I simply must have this carrot. We'll be in touch, playboy. Again, I honestly do not think she's gonna be eating that with her. She's gonna be eating that with her mouth. Training water. Does that just give me basic experience? 
Yeah. <sighs> now on to this. No change in the diary. I hope it's owner saw my reply in, in here. Okay, so it's on to the next sub story then. Oh, here they are. Mama Ryoma. I think we need one more person. We could do it with three, but... Hmm. Oh! Hey, mister. Come play with us. Me? Yeah, let's play house. House? Sorry, but no thanks. Besides, I'm sure you'll find someone better to play with. Be safe, all right? Huh? Huh? Hey, is this guy making these kids cry? Mm -hmm. Uh, don't cry. I'm gonna cry too. What do you expect? Grown-ups are all the same. Man, I hope I never get like that. <laughs> yeah, but I guess we have no choice. It's really sad. Oh boy. Not good. I made them cry. Now they're losing hope in adults, too. Ugh. <sighs> Children are the future, and it's the adult's job to give them the hope they need to build their dreams. Because I have a responsibility here. Alright, let's play. Yay! I'm a beginner, by the way. Go easy on me. Sure. We'll go with a simple farming family. He'll be the farmer husband. Nice to meet you. And you'll be the wife, mister. Daddy. The wife? Yep. You're the wife. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't a girl play that role? Like her? Uh, well... I'm playing the samurai. I see. And I'm the daughter, so you have to play my mom. Got it. I'm the wife. Then let's get started. Everyone at your places. Hi. All right, and go. Hey, mister. You're playing the mom, so you're supposed to be cooking at home today. Uh, sure. Is that how moms talk? I don't think so. More mom-like. You're asking a man who's never been a mom in his life. Mother will do her best. Hmm. It's not perfect, but fine. Get cooking. This is harder than I thought, but I agreed to do it. I should see through. Okay, we'll start with mom making dinner. Okay, go! So I'm supposed to cook, right? I said go. Chop, 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 chop. I'm hungry, mom. Mm, something smells really good. What is it? Mm? Right, the food. I hadn't thought about that. She's looking at me so innocently. What do I say? Take out vegetables, potatoes, and tofu, or sukiyaki. So I could choose either one. How about sukiyaki? Sukiyaki. Hey, wait. That's a little much, don't you think? Maybe shoot for something a little more realistic? Might have tried too hard on that one. I'm home. Dad, welcome back. Mom, Dad's back. Oh, welcome home, darling. Thanks. Man, I'm beat. I'm sure you've, uh, had a long day. The food's ready. Oh, good. Let's all sit down, then. Itadaka. 
いてだきますいてだきますチャンチャンマンチマンチチューチュー I say, feel like I ought to say something. Maybe you should try talking to my husband. Are you cheating on me? How it's work? Just keep eating. How was work? Let's be honest, the second option is probably the best one. Maybe something a little less heavy. How was your、uh, work? Uh, got a lot of rice today. How much did you get? Mm, I'd say about two years worth. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe soon we'll all be rich. <laughs> yeah. It'll be tofu every day. <laughs> I love tofu. Ah, s h seems like it's going well. What's up? It's me, the warrior, here to collect tribute. Oh, welcome, sir. Come on, fork it over. You got a lot of rice today. Here, take it. Don't tell me this is all of it. This is for the Lord, right? What about my tribute? Huh? But I can't give you anymore. Just hand it over. You want your kid to die? Eek! Help, Daddy! This is getting, re- this is getting kinda real. Ugh. Please, it's not my daughter. Fine. Take all the rights we have. You should done- should have done that from the start. Don't forget, the law says I can cut you down and get away with it scot free. Your lives ain't worth shit. Ugh. All that rice just gone like that. t h o u g h t you're doing business with you. Later. Okay, now it's getting too real. Yeah, cause let's be honest, they actually give people power and all they want is more. This is just pretend. I should deal with the samurai and make this a happy、Boy. ending. Hey, samurai. Hang on. Yeah? What? You're just some peasant's wife. Got a problem with me? First, never underestimate someone's wife. Second, why is a samurai collecting tribute in the first place? The Muraoka system says tribute should be made by the whole village. No law states that you get to collect your own. Say what? Shut up! Shut up! Keep down, you and your whole stupid family. And that law only applies to warriors who've been greatly disgraced. If that's not the case, it's just a crime. There's a good chance your status as a warrior will get revoked. Got that, uh, sweetie? Yeah, whatever. Keep your rice. You ain't seen the last、mm-hmm. of me. Eggs. Oh no. Did I get too into it? <laughs> Mom, that was amazing.、Mm. Yeah, that was so cool. We even got to keep our rice. We'll make it through the year thanks to you. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of mochi and have our own little. Oshigatsu. Yay, mochi, mochi! That was one of the best games of house ever. Yeah, I was dying to see what would happen next. You were great, mister. Thanks for playing with us. Let's do it again sometime, okay? Phew. Then your new danger really takes it out of you. Hmm. This is the girl that played the samurai. You okay? Mister, what you said when we were playing, was all that true? Hmm? You mean about the tribute and cutting people down? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if a samurai would ever do that. Maybe you could try playing the wife next time and change things up? But, Mister, the samurai who comes to my house, um, he does that. He's always talking stuff for my mom and dad. Taking stuff from my mom and dad. What? You serious? I'd like to see this samurai for myself. Can I meet him? I think he's coming to the house soon. Take me there. What? This it? Am I a joke to you? You better have money next time. I don't care if you gotta rack up debt or whatever. Just do it. I'm sorry, sir. But no more. Huh? You got a problem with me? I could get your wife and your kid if I wanted to, and I'd get away with it too. That what you want? Please, no. Hm. <laughs> Then wise up and do as I say.、Boy. Hey. Who the hell are you? Oh, I see. 
The damn brat must have called for help. You think that's any way for a samurai to behave? Shut the hell up. I got no problem running you through right here. <sighs> here we go. Yep, just beat the shit out of him to death. He's strong. Hey, you. Yes, sir. I take you've been hitting the other houses as well? N no, never. If I hear that you're at it again, you'll be the one who gets cut down. That clear? Eek! As a bell! I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. You saved our family. I was so afraid of what happened if I defied him or reported him. I had no idea what to do. Well, it's safe to say he's learned his lesson. If he ever comes back, will you come again and help us, mister? Of course. Thank goodness. Really, I can't thank you enough. Maybe now we'll have some peace. <laughs> Hopefully you and your friends can come up with more peaceful stories from now on, too. Yeah, the family could use a break. Stories? What family? Psst, don't tell daddy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was looking up a different substory and I was about to fast travel back. Hmm? That's enough. How many times have I told you to quit being so picky? But, Mom... Veggies... No stuff of children allowed in my house. If you're going to do whatever you wish, then stay out. That's a bit harsh for a kid. Mom, no! Wait! But... But, Mom... <laughs> veggies... <laughs> <laughs> I guess vegetables are the enemies of children in all ages. I couldn't stand them back then myself either. Veggies. I just... I just want to eat veggies. Daddy. Wait. He wants veggies? The boy who loves veggies. Hand him any vegetable you have in your inventory. I want... I want veggies. Just some veggies. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Buck up. Are you really that much of a veggie fan? Huh? Uh, yeah. They're my favorite. Gotta say, I don't think I ever met another kid who said vegetables were their favorite. Really? Well, it's true. Not my mom, though. She hates them. We always have to eat tofu with everything. Hmm. Rather strange mom you've got there. Anytime I say I want vegetables, my mom says no. I just... I just want to eat veggies. Every day it's tofu, tofu, tofu. I'm sick of it. Mm. Yeah, with a diet like that, no wonder the kid's craving vegetables. So that's why I've made up my mind. Mm. I'm going to run away from home. You're running away? Yeah, I'm going to go to another town far away and live with some veggie-loving family. I mean, 
I know I wouldn't want tofu every day either, but aren't you a bit young to be leaving home for good? If I don't run away, I'll never get to eat any veggies. Hey, no. would you give me some? You want me to give you vegetables? Yeah. Otherwise, I think I might have to run away for real. This kid's talking like he's serious, and he's definitely too young to be on his own. I guess I could give him some leftovers from my place. Alright, since it's your health, since it's for your health, I don't mind sharing. What? Really? Yay! But, you have to make a deal with me first. If I give you vegetables, you have to promise not to run away from home. Got it? Got it. If I get veggies, no running away. I promise. Hey, mister. Hey there. Haven't run away yet, have you? Nope. I kept my promise. <laughs> Good to hear. But, I'm starting to crave veggies again. <laughs> Which I hand over. I have a lot of veggies. Here, have an eggplant. Does this look good to you? Oh, one of my favorites. Veggie time. Nom, 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 nom. Thanks a bunch, mister. Was it good? Yeah, so good. I'm gonna keep eating, but I've gotta eat at home too. So I should stop now. Huh, <laughs> smart move. Thanks again, mister. Okay, so this is a bond. Okay. Back to the sub story I was gonna look at. But I don't know if I can actually trigger it. Oh yeah, while we're here, we have yet to talk to Tatsu. Hey Saito-san, ready to lend me a hand? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. That's what I like to hear, and I've got the perfect job in mind for you. See, there's been a big increase in kidnappings in town, and the victims just happen to be my clients. I plan on doing some poking around. I imagine I would wind up caught in something bigger than I expected. So that's where you come in. Yeah, sounds like a plan. The Spitfire Deck Collector. Huh, it says this substrate is, is available completing this it will complete the Spitfire Town Protector. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So I guess not. Okay, so there's definitely some information on this guy that's definitely wrong. Hmm. Maybe I was just paranoid. We're already reaching the last stop for the night. Not that I'm complaining. This one's sort of a blockhead. This one's sort of a blockhead. But he's an alright guy, all things considered. All his money goes towards feeding his wife, ever since she took sick. They'd been married for years when one day she just collapsed. It really scared him. Couldn't even tell me about it without crying. Plus, he works hard. So I factor all that stuff into his account. Got him on a real low interest setup until his wife pulls through. So you're actually a bit of a softie, huh? <laughs> These people treated me well in the past. Just want to return the favor is all. Please, someone help. Hey, hey, Otami-san, are you alright? Oh no. Saito-san, help me carry her. Yes, of course. Thank you, Yei-chan, kind samurai. You saved me. I'm just glad you were there. When the world happened, though? Well, some strangers came by earlier. They were deck collectors, and they took my Zenji away. Deck collectors? Wait, 
Was Zenji-san borrowing from someone besides me? You know, that surprised me too. They said they lent him an unbelievable sum if I could get treat so I could get treatment. Hang on though. I thought your issue was a dietary thing. That's what he told me when he came to me for money, anyway. Yes, and thanks to the both of you, I've been feeling much better lately. So I have no clue why he'd a take on and take out another loan. Something's smelling real rotten here. Do you think Zenji-san could have been duped? Duped how? I mean, why would he? What makes you say that? Well, there's a lender in town who's been expanding his business by bullshitting potential clients. He tricks people into signing contracts, then once he squeezed them for every last mon, they're forced to work till they keel over. I heard he sometimes bribes doctors to tell suckers they need to shell out for expensive medicine just to hook new clients. This kind of thing's only been getting worse around here. It's at the point where I can't help all the folks getting ripped off anymore. Not sure what else I can do to help these poor people. You're only human. You are never going to be able to help everybody. We just do what we can, right? <laughs> yeah, you got me there. Speaking of doing something, I think I have an idea of where they might have taken Zenji-san. Saito-san, sorry to ask. I'm going to need you to back me up this time, too. But I really want to say Zenji-san. And I can pay you. Please? It's fine. I want to help. Where do you think he is? He was probably taken to a gambling den. These guys talk people into blowing money for them. And then ask how they plan to pay it back. Yay, chan My husband's not a bad man. He's always intended to pay you back. So please, please, please save him. I know, Otami-san. Don't worry. I'll bring him back. Just wait for us, okay? I don't think my current gear is going to cut for this mission. So I'm heading to the blacksmith. Meet me there when you're ready to roll. Well, no time like the present, I suppose. You ready, Saito-san? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. I'm really worried about Zenji-san. Let's get going. This is probably just going to be a fight. Aw, oh, what the hell, Zenji-san? We showed you the ticket to easy money. How'd you screw yourself over even worse? I... I don't know. I just did what you told me and... Oh, you saying this is on me? Look, it's not my fault you don't get the system. And how else were you ever gonna pay off that initial loan? We even lent you more to get you sorted, to get you started, and you still couldn't pull it off. Just how pathetic are you, old man? <laughs> But the question still stands. How are you going to pay us back? I'm awfully sorry, fellas. But I don't have a single mon to my name now. <sighs> well, sucks for you. If you can't uphold the contract on your own, then we've got to send you somewhere to work it off. Wait, what are you going to do with me? Please, somebody help me. Hold it right the hell there. Who in the... Oh, well, if it isn't Miss Tatsu... What do you want? I want to know why you think you can drag Zenji-san off someplace. You fucked around with my clients long enough. You simple or something? He owes us a boatload of money. But we're getting our use out of him. Not hard to understand. And you should understand that you're forcing people into contracts illegally. Plus, if you take Zenji-san now, I'll never get paid. What do I care? We've got signed contracts. I borrowed more than twice that he owes. Bitch all you want. The guy's on our hook. You're such a piece of shit. If it's really just about the money, what if I buy out Zenji-san's contract from you? Ha! Mighty generous of you. Who'd have thunk there'd be a bleeding heart beneath that tough exterior? Well, you won't hear me complaining. Go ahead and pay up if you can. Of course, thou be with compounded interest. Hey. Do you really have that kind of money? Eh, not at the moment. But isn't this an easy enough place to get it? Yeah, and to lose it all. Hang on. You want to win it? Um.
Hey, is this lady for real? I don't know how, but she's gotten eight hits in a row. And she keeps raising the stakes. It's crazy. If she gets this one. So she's had a teeny little spurt of good luck. And that don't mean it's gonna last. Alright. Game on. It's 1-5. Even. Damn. Nine in a row. This is nuts. I've never seen this much money thrown around here. This is... It's gotta be bullshit. The place is heated up, huh? Place is heated up, huh? And it looks like you're the one getting cooked. Oh, Karara-sama. Uh, we were just about to go get you. So, that's the infamous Miss Tatsu. How much is she taking you for? At this point, four days worth of pay already. You really are a screw-up sometimes. And you're even up against an amateur, too. Listen well. You're doing whatever it takes to get that money back. Y yes, sir. Understood. Yeah, he's really fired up. She looks more like she's fighting to the death than gambling. Is she gonna be okay? I can't say for sure. We'll just have to trust her instincts on this one. Last chance for bets, everyone. We're going again. So, uh, what's the call? Even, and I'm all in. All in? Oh, you're so full of shit. <laughs> she doesn't know the first thing about Chohan. She's in for a rude awakening. Yeah, he's going for the finishing blow this round. Alright. Game on. It's even. It's snake eyes. Even. You did it. You're amazing, Ye-chan. What the fuck? How did she see that coming? Well, that's not what I wanted to see. You know what you have to do now, right? After all, it's pretty common for folks to disappear from gambling dens nowadays. Ah, uh, please, please wait. Kurata-sama. <laughs> That was some pretty damn exciting. That was pretty damn exciting. Especially there at the end. Saito-san, did you hear me say we were done here? Huh? I'm doubling down. What do you say, prick? Fuck! Just walk away already! Aw, too scared. Don't you have a system? Oh, you cocky bitch. You know what? Fuck dice. We're just gonna beat your ass. Here we go. That's not exactly what I meant to do, but okay. Eat lids, boys! God. 
Godly. And we're done. Now cough up my money. Come on. We're flat broke here. Why can't we just call it for the ninth hit and say we're good? That's rich coming from you. Every person who ever asked you for mercy just told... Was just told to eat shit, right? Then, tell me why I shouldn't say the exact same thing to you right now. But you know what? I actually will make you a deal. Since I'm not total garbage like you. Give me Zenji-san's contact contract and I'll cut you loose. Deal. Yeah, fine. Whatever it fucking takes. The old man's all yours. And with that out of the way, say fuck you very much. And I say fuck you very much and goodbye. Thank you so much, Ye chan what would I have done without you? Zenji-san, that all happened because you're still too gullible. Haven't I told you to come find me when people hassle you about money? You nearly put Otami-san in the grave this time. Worrying about, worrying about you. I'm so sorry. They said Otami was still really sick, and I panicked. I just wasn't thinking straight. It's all fine now. You may still have some debt, but at least it's out of their hands and in mine. I'll give you a rate that works for you. Hey, Chan. Thank you for bringing him home safe. We'll do our best to work hard and pay back what we owe. Sounds like a plan, so long as you don't work yourself sick again. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, get otami san a treat for me. I'm sure this has stressed her out awful bad. Oh, this much? Thank you, my dear. I'll always remember what you've done for us. Yes, Ye Chan. Thank you so much. That ended up being a hell of a lot more eventful in the end, huh? Let me get you your payment. Oh, it was enough to just witness that lucky streak. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, aren't you a flatterer? But, I already told you, I make it a policy to never owe anyone, whether it's money or favors. Three Rio. Well, here's hoping you're around the next time things turn to shit, Saito-san. Hmm. She's a real stickler for doing things her own way, huh? But I think with that, next time on Like a Dragon Ishin, it's back to doing more sub stories. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.